Right then, so we're just continuing with this. Um, we recorded some bits of it the other day. So what we're saying, so if you remember, it's up to the line and across to the curve. Um, I don't remember the name. Up to the curve, across to the line. So we go up to the curve, across to the line. Uh, that's really thick. So it says uh, x1 is 4. So we'll start at 4, so we'll go up to the curve and then across to the line. And then it's up or down to the curve and across to the line. Up or down to the curve, across to the line. And see how that's gone in like a set of steps? So that's a staircase diagram, that one. There. So the other one was a cobweb the other day. Uh, let's have a look at this one then, this second one. So we're starting off at 2.5, which is X1. So we're going up to the curve, then across to the line. And if you look, going up to the curve, it's just off. <laughs> so we've come from like, whatever it is, two and a half to three and a half. And then the next one, look, is 754. So this one converged, whereas this one diverges. So I've been running up to 754, and then I've got to like millions after that. So it says here, we've got a sketch of f of x. So it's got roots alpha and beta. And we've got a starting value of x1. Right, so this is looking at, so we'll read up a little bit more. If I change where I start from, what effect it's going to have on me. So it says, show that if it's between naught and alpha, it converges. Right, so let's go. So we're going to go up to the curve and across to the line. So I'm going to go up to the curve. And then across to the line, then up to the curve, across to the line, up to the curve, across to the line, and I've gone as far as I can do. There, X2 and X3. I've gone as far as I can do, and I'm into the, the curve. So that's quite nice, that one. That one does it. So we've done that. Tick that off. Mm. Now it says what happens if the root is between alpha and beta. So if I choose a different colour, now depending on where it's going to go, so going up to the curve and across to the line, if I kind of go past this bow here, it should send it over to B, over to beta, but if I go to the left of it, it should send it over to alpha. So we can try that, can't we? So if I try and put it in the middle, so here we go, so this is my X1 value. So I'm going to go up to the curve, then across to the line, and then if you look at this one, it's going to take me down to that root. But that'd be fine. But I reckon if I'd gone a little bit more that way, it would have took me up to the curve, across to the line. Oh no, do you know what? It would have kept on going that way. That's okay. So we can ditch that bit. It would have been fine. So that one's okay. So that works, that goes, that converges to alpha, but I still think if we'd use a different volume, I could have got it to, to go to beta, to the other root. And then it says, choose one where it's more than. So let's have a look. So I haven't really got that much graph left. So if I try and get it really close to it, so it's going up to the curve, which is off the scale, and across to the line, which is off the scale. So I'm going up to the curve and across to the line and up to the curve. You can see that this one diverges. It goes away, diverges away from the root completely. There. There we go. So that's what it wanted us to do. To show that. Just on a thought, really, I'm talking quite quietly, but the microphone was slightly turned away, so you might not really hear me. 
or what I've got for this for the last one. So I think that's the end of that, that lesson, so that's quite cool. But I'm going to stop it there. See you later, bye.